Matt Lenehan for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Star. Always a pleasure. Paddy McCrory, one of the nicest geezers you'll meet in boxing. But look, tonight, you came back from a defeat against Cedric Belanga against a guy who was game as they come. That first round said it all. You had him down, but he came back and arguably probably had, apart from the last round, one of his best rounds and he caught you. How do you feel now you've got that out of the way? You know, it's a solid victory on your way to hopefully some bigger fights. Yeah, listen, it's, it's just good to get back in the ring after my first defeat. And uh, I took a guy who, who can punch hard. <laughs> um, and he was game, which I knew from watching previous fights where he'd been down and he gets up and he, he swings until he can't swing no more. So um, he was always game. And after the first or second, I thought, let's play cagey. And then I tried to step on it again. And just listen, it's been a long time from I've been in the ring. It's just great to get back on there and get the win. I thought the way you managed the fight yeah. was really well because obviously when you get someone down, there's that, that, that thing to really go for it. But you survived a bit of a storm yourself in that first round, but then straight after that, you, you, sort of, you just managed each round. You didn't rush. You must be pleased with that performance because you, I suppose maybe you have some questions. I know I spoke to you earlier in the week. You had, had a bit of imposter syndrome in America, yeah. but you're, you're top of the bill tonight, main event, and you've done the business. Yeah, I think the experience from the Berlanga fight probably stood by me there to where I didn't go like gun ho um, after getting like, wobbled a bit, and, and I, I stayed calm and I, and I let him walk on some shots as well, um, cover up well. So. That experience, as we talked like during the week, I think stuck by me. Um, I didn't overly commit in most of the rounds, but I was doing enough to win them. Uh, and then I landed a few good shots. But listen, I'm always, I'm always extremely critical of myself. Um, some people say that I manage the fight well, so it's just good to get back to Mancala and to get back right after it once. Um, talk me through the last round before we talk about what's next so he's coming on strong he knows many people's eyes he has to knock you out to win the fight you were catching the shots I felt like even though the crowd's anxious you you, you got caught a few times but you, you were in control just talk yeah. me through it did you feel that you were going to be fine just to see the round out yeah I knew you'd get through the round and i win the fight and it was just a matter of of I knew he was throwing three or four and then he was taking me rest and I was just managing that and just taking him, taking him. And from the outside, it probably looks worse, but when I'm there, one or three, looking through, nothing overly worrying, but I was always in control like the last round. Definitely didn't win it, definitely didn't throw any shots really, but just managed the round. Well look, headlining, good crowd here tonight on Pro Box as well, terrific production. What do you want to do next? You want to you want to take some big fights now again and get back to that, to the level you were at, maybe in a couple of fights, but please them, yeah. where do you want to go? Who knows, listen, it's, is it a matter, like at 36, it's, it's hard to turn, turn down any opportunities, but I would love another fight, probably after that, as I'd like the next level to see where I'm at and then challenge again. Um, let's see where that one like, puts me. Uh, There'll be money up. No options now. Yeah. The people see that. Listen, it's just a matter of picking the right one yeah. uh, and taking the right choice financially and um, just the right fight. Stage make fights. His stage is probably all wrong for me. Yeah. Um, that long, dangly, big southpaw. And as I said during the week, when I hear of hard punching South Americans, I think of British Prescott. And it was probably something like that. <laughs> It was, he came with bad intentions. Look, um, last one, you got a message for your fans. Um, you had family, son came in the ring, special moment for you. Nice to do it in the city of Belfast, you know, steeped in history, and you had that moment there. What does that mean to you? And have you got a message to the fans? I don't like to call them fans because I look about and it's all my friends and family and extended friends and family and, and people that have just joined the crew. You've got you've got fans. Yeah. Come on, you've got fans. Uh, come on. It's, it's, it's amazing. Sick fans, come Fuck on. Sick. Listen, fans. thank you. Thanks for coming. It was an amazing night. Main event, as I see, many years ago, I couldn't believe it. I'm here now. Thank you, Conlon Boxing. Thank you, ProBox. Thank you, everybody. My coach, D, Andy, Tony, from all my sponsors. Listen, thank you very much. Howdy, McCraw. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Matt. Cheers.